Dr. Hardy, what does the word love mean in the context of the ongoing struggles for true freedom and compassionate social change? It's easiest to begin by saying it does not mean what popular culture has accustomed it to mean. It does not mean I love you, baby, and you could do everything that I'd like you to do, and I'll be happy. Now, I think I know that when the great teachers like King or Gandhi or others were talking about the centrality of love, when Jesus was speaking about the loving of the neighbor, the loving of the enemy, the loving of the other as we love ourselves, it was not a sentimental kind of love. It was a kind of urgent determination to seek for the well-being of the other, to open ourselves to the deepest needs of the other, to recognize the pain of the other, and to gather it into ourselves and to do whatever we could do to offer healing, to offer accompaniment through the hard ways, to offer the shelter that human beings are meant to offer to each other and to offer whenever we can to all sentient beings, as you all well know. So in the struggle for freedom and justice and peace and well-being, love means, I believe, primarily that we commit ourselves to seek to do everything that we can to help the other, including the opponent other, to achieve her or his best possibility and that we therefore choose the tools of struggle as those tools which will open the way to the enemy becoming best possible human rather than simply defeated opponent. We are, we are struggling with the goal of moving to a larger possibility rather than diminishing. And that is what love is always trying to do, opening, opening up the best possibilities, opening up the widest arena, opening the space. And I think that in this uh, struggle for a just and renewed social order, that is what we're doing. We're trying to create a social order, not simply in which we can be treated right, but a social order in which all of us can find our greatest potentials realized. In other words, in which we live out our divine potential. And love is that which drives us in this direction, 
even when those that we seek to share with don't recognize their need for the growth, their need for us, their need for anything other than what they have determined to do. We engage in a relationship with them in which we say to them essentially, I want all of us, I want both of us, I want everyone to find their best humanity and that is why I must oppose what you are doing now. So I think that that's, that's what love is about.